Children Music and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some ocarinas that we purchased from stlocarina.com and the reason why I found them is I was um, I was looking into ocarinas because my son was saying he wanted to play the Ocarina of Time from Zelda and so I thought well I would be I would love to have an ocarina I've always wanted to learn how to play we went to amazon.com and I looked at the different ocarinas that they had available and none of them really measured up to what I was hoping for. I've had some bad experiences with recorders that are out of tune and the ones that I saw on Amazon, some of the people did a sound a sound demonstration and they were all out of tune. So I started looking for professional ocarinas and that's how I found this company. And um, I've started geeking out. I've actually only had this ocarina since last Monday, so less than a week. And this is their most popular Ocarina. It's their um, Zelda Ocarina and it's $50. And um, this is a standard 12 hold Ocarina. But we're going to talk about um, my website is about teaching music to children. Older children, um, maybe ages 10 and up, would want to start on a 10 hold Ocarina. But we're going to look at some 6 hold Ocarinas today because that's what I bought for my kids. Um, they have they have some special packages that they put together. This is their package for kids 10 and under, and they and it comes with um, a book on CD, um, a, a full lesson book, and and a sound CD. And then this is their 12 hole ocarina that they have for children, and it also comes with a book and a audio, and it also comes with a DVD. And I haven't even opened this up because these two were given to me by STL as a giveaway. So. Those are going to go to the lucky winner. But one of the things that I really liked about um, these packages is that if you wanted to buy more, more ocarinas, you could save a little bit of money. So these are their plastic ocarinas, and um, they're really sturdy. The kids have been all over the house with these and in the car. For my youngest daughter, I've put some tape over the bottom so that they don't have to worry about covering these some holes up. And then um, they don't have the upper two notes, but they can still play the whole scale. It still is a, it's a pretty good solid tone. One of the things, um, I was going to teach my kids recorder this fall and I, um, I was excited about that because one of the things about the recorder is that you don't have to work really hard to get a good embouchure. Um, that's like how you blow into it, like the saxophone or the clarinet or the trumpet. You know, you're spitting into the trumpet almost. It's really hard for kids, and so the recorder is a really good choice for that. Well, I found out that the ocarina is just the same, except that the ocarina is this ancient instrument. It's one of the most one of the most ancient instruments in the world, and that's kind of why I think that's why, um, like Zelda, and the song I just played was oh, I don't know how to say the name of that Lutia song or something like that from the Pokemon 2000 movie. Um, there's ocarinas. In a lot of these old movies, and I think it gives it this level of authenticity because it's an old instrument, and it can be shaped to be almost any, to be shaped like almost anything. So that's kind of a really cool thing about the ocarina. There's a guy on YouTube who makes ocarinas out of vegetables, and he's really famous for that. So um, ocarinas are really cool that way. Um, so I decided that I'm going to teach my kids ocarina, and I've kind of jumped in. With both um, with both feet, and my kids are really excited about them. I told them if they wanted to learn to play, the, if they would learn to play the ocarina, I would let them pick any six hold ocarina on their website. And my three three of my kids picked out these. Um, these are each ten dollars. There's a little mouse. There's a hammerhead shark. There's a whale. They also have like a ladybug and a frog and. They have the mushroom from Mario, and they have they have all sorts of things. They have Lord of the Rings, and and Spider Man, and Doctor Who, and Star Wars. I mean, they have a whole bunch of different ocarinas on their site. So, so it's kind of fun. But this is what my kids picked out. Um, one of the things that I noticed, and these are made out of clay. My three year olds actually already chipped this foot. We need to fix it. Um, but my th my three year old really struggles to put her fingers on these plastic ones. Um, but these ones are smaller. If you look at the difference between the spacing, that's a lot smaller. So this, one, so I think that these ones are going to be easier for a, a very young child to play if you wanted to teach a really young child. But um, that they're made out of clay, so you have to be really careful with them. But they're really solid. They're all just really solid. I'm just going to do a sound sample for each one of these.
<laughs> Oops. It's a really good instrument. I just was thrown off because I forgot. Um, these are in different keys. So these ocarinas and these two ocarinas are all in C major. This one is in D, and one of these is in F, and one of these is in G. I don't remember which. So um, they're actually tuned to different keys. Um, this is the blue well my son picked out. Oops, okay, so I'm not perfect, <laughs> but it is in tune, I promise. We've played some good stuff on that blue well, and here's the mouse. It's so cute. I just, look how cute that little mouse is. I love it. <laughs> those ocarinas and my son had a little bit um, fancier tastes he loves Zelda and so this is the um, this is the Zelda shield ocarina and it's 27 I believe um, anyway this is the one he picked out yeah and when he got it yeah Peter's downstairs saying ocarina of time <laughs> and when he got this he said it's so Zelda -y. <laughs> so he's excited one of the things about this one is that the um, the mouthpiece is actually on the side, so at first we had a hard time getting good sound, and then we realized, oh, we just need to blow in on the side because that's where the hole is. Ah, sorry. Let me start again. It's a little bigger, and it's a little bit easier to get those higher tones out of this one. So, and then there's these holes on the bottom that you can do to go a little higher. And those are the ocarinas. The other thing that we bought, which was kind of fun, is songs from the Legend of Zelda. And um, this is his tablature, which um, which means it's a picture. There are picture graphs on how to play the song. And later on, I'm going to film my daughter playing. Um, she can play the Song of Time. I think that's the one that she learned. She has it memorized. But if you just look at, if you just look at, this is how they they've done it. They've They've done the fingerings and then there's just a little rhythm um, symbol up at the top. So this was kind of a fun little book that we got so that they could learn the music and, from Zelda. So, oh, and there's one more that, um, the other one that I think that is really cool on their website that I'd love to get for my birthday or something, wink, wink, husband, <laughs> is the tea cutting and they actually, it's actually a real functioning, dishwasher safe, microwavable um, teacup that you can use and you can have tea in the cup and then you play it and I'll um, post a video to that. But this is the, um, this is the, this is also an ocarina, it's a pendant ocarina. And all of these, all of these instruments here, down here are tenor ocarinas. This is a soprano ocarina. And I was really geeking out over the novelty of having a soprano instrument, but, um, and it's in tune, and it's high quality, and it's beautiful, and it's really cool that way. But it's a little bit less fun to play because it's so high. <laughs> it's like when I first played it, my husband said, that reminds me of the, you know, the Von Trapp when he's playing that high shrill whistle because it's just really high. But it works. So it's perfectly in tune. It plays one octave. And there's, you know, you can do the sharps and flats in between and everything. So, so that's kind of a fun little novelty thing. But, um, like I said, it's not as fun to play as this is my, this is my baby right here. This is my favorite. And I'm very grateful that um, STL actually gave me this ocarina as a thank you for doing this review. So, thank you, STL. We are in love with these ocarinas. And we're going to be an ocarina enthusiast because... This is a really cool way to introduce young children to music, and my kids love it, and I hope that you will like the ocarina too. Thank you for watching.